Hi everyone, today I have something a little different for you. We're going to make a nectarine chutney. You will need 16 nectarines, which I have peeled and chopped into small pieces. Two onions, diced, you can use red or white. Two chilies, which I have left some of the seeds in and I took some away. Do that to your taste. One garlic clove, which I've finely diced. Two thumb-sized pieces of ginger, which I have cut into sticks. A cinnamon stick. A tablespoon of cumin seeds, which I bashed in the pestle and mortar. The seeds from 30 cardamoms. 375 grams of light brown sugar. 500 millilitres of malt vinegar. And 160 grams of sultanas. In a heavy base saucepan, you want a heavy base one because it works best. Put all of your dry ingredients and give them a mix together. Then add the malt vinegar and give everything a good mix. Bring that to a boil. When it starts to boil, lower to a very low heat and simmer for about an hour and a half. At the one hour mark, I decided to use the masher to make the pieces a bit softer because I like that better. If you prefer it chunky, don't use the masher. Now to check when it's ready, when you run the spoon through the bottom of the pan, it should leave a white mark without much liquid coming back into it. Then it's ready. I then leave that to sit for 10 minutes while I sterilize the jars. I sterilize them on 120 C fan oven for 10 minutes. Then what you need to do is I always put a cloth down because I make a mess as you can see. Ladle the chutney into the warm jars. So you want the chutney and the jars to both be warm. And the less you put on the spoon or the ladle, the easier it is to fill the jars. Once you've done that, add some wax paper on the top of the chutney. I didn't have any proper ones, so I just cut some circles of greaseproof paper and put that on. And then put the lid on and they're ready. If you sterilize the jars and store these properly, they should last up to a year. If you're making them to use straight away, you don't need to go through all the sterilizing jars. So it's your choice. These will go really well with your leftover meats at Christmas, with a cheese board, however you want to eat it. And I hope you enjoy it. Bye for now.